Olympics serve to remind us all that physical disability is no insurmountable barrier to sporting achievement. It's a message that's been taken literally by one group of surfers in Australia who are helping people with disabilities discover the thrill of the surf. Jonathan Harley reports. When we first started taking disabled people to the beach, the amount of stares, uh, the amount of comments that we had from the general public was unbelievable. These gentle waves at Jaroa on the New South Wales south coast may not be world championship material, but they are producing some unlikely surfing legends. I don't really think there is nothing I can't do, really. Do surfing, what can I do? You know. None more extraordinary than Kelly McCann. Ever since she was in a terrible car accident when she was just three years old, Kelly McCann's had no movement in her arms or legs and can't even breathe properly without a ventilator. People see the chair, they before they see you and they just think, oh my God, poor person. She won't be able to do much. I don't think of myself disabled, I usually forget because I do everything I want to do and need to do to keep me happy. Um, get my mind off it. My biggest fear as a nurse is can I get air to her? If I can get air to her, I figure, well, the logistics we can work around. Going to carry her out the, the logistics wallet? are mind-boggling. She'll hold the breath, yeah, she'll hold the breath. Right, I'll control it. While Disabled Surfing Association founder Gary Blaschke works out the plan with his team of volunteers. OK, one, two, three. Oh, you're a feather, mate. <laughs> Kelly McCann foregoes her electric ventilator for a hand-pumped one. This entire exercise hinges on keeping Kelly's airway, the tracheostomy, dry. Surfing, of course, the worst case scenario can be getting water in the trachea. Yeah. Probably about, the last time, about six waves. Yeah, right. Uh, depending on how she's going. Yeah. Yeah? Depending on how many wipeouts we get. Yeah. See how we go. <laughs> Kelly McCann's never come off the board yet. And for all the jokes, there's a serious effort to keep it that way. The airbag is off just for the short time of the ride. Me lying on the board, you look out in the sky, see the suns, you see the clouds, you see the water beside you, and all these people like confident in, in you, and you're confident in them, and just being free. And when you're gliding along the water, it feels like you're flying or flying or something like that. So, yeah, that's great. Righto, guys, line up. Gary Blaschke set up the Disabled Surfing Association after a motorbike accident threatened to end his surfing days. I've taken blind people out that, you know, 35 years old, never felt sand between his toes and never been to the beach, didn't know what a wave was, had to explain how waves were created. Man, surf's up! <laughs> surf's up! Nearly 20 years later, thousands like Len Snowden are getting help to catch waves. Come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> Len Snowden lost an arm and a leg in 1992 in a train accident at BHP's Wollongong Steelworks. Well, that was 13 years ago now. It's still extremely hard to, to actually come to terms with. Len Snowden had never been on a surfboard before the accident, but strange as it may seem, surfing became the key to his recovery. It's given me the opportunity to experience life to the maximum and to be accepted as not a disabled person, but a, a person having a surf. Nevertheless, the association only just stays afloat, thanks to a lot of goodwill and a trickle of donations. It can't buy enough boards, aquatic wheelchairs and other bits of kit to support what may be Australia's fastest growing surfing movement.
we've got something to sell to the rest of the world. I think we've, we can teach a lot of people around the world um, not to lock your disabled people up in rooms and let them waste away, that let them get out there and experience what life is all about. Fun. Surfing. But as Kelly McCann discovered, the surf is an unpredictable thing. Are we going to go? Yeah, go. I was just flying along the waves and next thing I know it's going to water. I thought I died for five seconds there. The next thing I know, the surfboard's there and there's no Kelly. You're right, Kelly. Suction. Suction. Yeah. Suction. Suction is needed to clear the water from Kelly McCann's airway. Yeah. Yeah, come Everyone else go for a walk, please. Go for a walk, please. <laughs> it's a painful procedure and distressing to watch but it's not enough to keep Kelly McCann out of the water. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I want to go back in. <laughs> this is everything about getting a comfort zone. I was in my comfort zone before I did this, and now I'm out of it. Righto. You have to come down and see it to believe it. I didn't believe it either. Extraordinary and I guess inspiring to think of the effort behind the laughs. Jonathan Harley reporting there and that's the program for